<laughs> oh yeah, she likes me all right. Girl is always asking if she can taste the rainbow. <laughs> but nah, I'm just joking. Kelly and I used to date. More of a friends upgraded to friends with benefits kind of situation. We didn't work, but I'm sort of glad because we downgraded back to friends. Oh God, don't get me started with those two. You'd think it was their lady bits getting neglected. They mean well, though. I love them both. Obviously very differently. <laughs> now we're getting personal. Oh, God, it's been 11 months since the last time I had sex. And it wasn't even good sex. You'd have to go back a few more months for that. Holy fuzzy, it's been more than a year. How do I even know if everything is working down there now? You cheeky son of a gun. You leave a bike alone for a year and... You're gonna at least need to blow up the tires, though. Am I right? That made sense, right? I hope it did. I thought it was hilarious. I think maybe you should switch to something a little stronger. I feel like my defenses are down a bit. Hey! Watch your mouth! You're gonna hurt my feelings! But nah, you're right. When I first met you... I thought you were going to get all super flirty with me. And I just wasn't into that at the time. Well, yeah. If I met you now, I'd be all over that. Alas! The friend zone and all that. <laughs> Whoops! I need another drink! And so do you. Yeah, cheers! So, there's something I wanted to ask you. I'm kind of in disbelief that you defeated me today in volleyball. Were you trying, like, really freaking hard to impress me? I know that sounds mega conceited, but screw it. Seven beers, and now it's a perfectly acceptable question. Nothing says, hey, check me out, like spiking a ball into a girl's face. But here, let me feel. Are you ticklish? <laughs> nice work, you'll look great. Because, speaking of inappropriate questions... I was wondering, did Callie say anything weird to you? I was picking up on a vibe between you two. An odd vibe? Like, womp womp. <laughs> that sounds kind of raunchy, huh? Hey, babe. I've got my vibe aimed right at your face. Wanna touch my vibe? <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little drunk. Oh. That blondie that dropped by today, what was that all about? Did she have a spray on tan? And was she, indeed, two different shades of blonde? Tell me you're not seeing her. Jealous of that bleached blonde completely empty-headed bimbo? Well, okay, fine. I was maybe a little jealous, but only because I don't know how girls like that steal all the action. Well, I'm home by myself with Mr. Buzzy. Mr. Buzzy is my vibrator, by the way. Just so we're completely embarrassingly clear on what I'm talking about. Hey, there's some stuff I want to tell you. I think you're cool. I'm glad we met. Even though the first time I saw you, my boobs popped out. Yeah, I bet it did. <laughs> I just want you to know. I trust you. And I want to tell you something that only people I trust know. The reason I've been so... grouchy, I guess, is that a really painful anniversary is coming up. The end of this month, when I was little, my mom died in a really tragic way. She actually died in front of me. She drowned. And every year, on the anniversary, I feel really jacked up about it still. So, 
If I get really weird in the next couple of weeks, it's not you. It's just me dealing with some stuff. I just don't want to drive you away is all. That means a lot to me. I worry about it. You wouldn't be the first friend I lost because I'm so messed up about it still. All right. Most important question of all time. Can you defeat me at wrestling? Aha! Sneak attack! If I pin you, you've got to do whatever I tell you. <laughs> no, no, I got you. Oh, I want you so bad. Oh, touch me, please. Kiss me. Oh, please. Make love to me. What? 